Tonight's headline, Some People Dramatizing Brownouts, says Kusi. Davao City under MECQ. Vaccination sites prepared for power outages. Coronavirus cases in the country at 1,255,337. Tropical Storm Dante leaves six dead. Pagasa declares start of rainy season. Six of 11 financial stability risk under control. And upgraded Kalibu Airport to boost employment. Good evening. Today is Friday, June 4, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel, and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi on Friday dismissed the information that the recent brownouts in Luzon had lasted for 10 or 11 hours in some areas. Cusi said some individuals are dramatizing the issue and were causing panic. Said brownouts in the zone areas only lasted for a maximum of three hours. However, the energy chief did not specify who were dramatizing the duration of the rotational brownouts. The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines had placed the zone grid under red and yellow alerts on May 31, June 1, and 2 as demand spiked but power supply was deficient due to outages of several plants. The government has placed Davao City under the stricter modified enhanced community quarantine from June 5 to 20, 2021 due to an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. Presidential spokesperson Hararoque made the announcement a day after the field position of MACQ in the city. The local government of Davao City previously cited as reason for its request the rising number of COVID-19 cases in the city and the, as the Southern Philippines Medical Center, the biggest hospital in the city has almost reached its full capacity for COVID-19 patients. The Interagency Task Force also placed General Santos City under the less restrictive general community quarantine from June 5 to 30. The Health Department said Friday that COVID-19 vaccination sites across the country have contingency measures in place to deal with the possible power outages or heavy rains. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergueres said big vaccination centers have backup generators which will also be used to power smaller sites in case of a brownout. Vergueres also said the regional health authorities were ordered to inspect vaccination sites and storage facilities in their locality to prepare for rotational brownouts in the rainy season. An energy official earlier said that red alert over Luzon could be raised until next week as rotating power interruptions have been recorded in various provinces due to red and yellow alerts that have been plaguing Luzon grid for days. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Something big. The all new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes utility mode, long mode, tall mode, refresh mode. The all new City Hatchback. Hatch more life. The Department of Health reported 7,450 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Friday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 1,255,337 even as five laboratories failed to submit data on time. This brought the active cases to 60,794 and of the total, 
93.9% are mild, 2.0% are symptomatic, 1.6% are severe, and 1.3% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 1,173,006 after 2,382 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll now stands at 21,537 following 181 fatalities recorded. Data from the DOH also show that 56% of the country's intensive care unit beds are in use, while 38% of the mechanical ventilators are occupied. In other news, the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council said on Friday that the total fatalities due to Tropical Storm Dante has climbed to six, while three people remain missing. The NDRRMC said the dead and the missing people were reported in Mimaropa, Western Visayas, Central Visayas, Eastern Visayas, Davao, and Soxurgeon regions. One of the fatalities was a one-year-old boy who died of suffocation due to mud and debris in Panoraon, Davao de Oro. A 71-year-old man also died in a flash flood in Malalag, Davao del Sur. The other fatality was a 14-year-old girl in Norala, South Cotabato, whose cause of death is still being determined. State Weather Bureau Pagas on Friday declared the start of the rainy season in the Philippines. The weather agency said the passage of now tropical depression Dante and the occurrence of widespread rainfall in the past five days confirmed the onset of the season. Despite this, the agency said that breaks in rainfall events called monsoon breaks may still occur. According to the agency, intermittent rains that are associated with the southwest monsoon will still continue to affect the national capital region and the western section of the country. We'll pause for a short break. Stay with us. Self-service can be this slick Modify plans in a snap Walang hirap is a wrap Just tap the app Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew Help and support for you Out with the ring ring apps or the in thing You know what to do Globe at home and Globe One All in the Globe app na yan Self-service and easy to use Mas okay tayo dyan Globe at home and Globe One All in the Globe app na yan Instant response, no hold time pa Wala nang Download the Globe One and Globe at Home apps from Google Play Store and Apple App Store now. Download Globe at Home and Globe One app all in the Globe app na yan. In business, the Financial Stability Coordination Council, chaired by Banco Central ng Pilipinas Governor Benjamin Jocno, released its assessment on the country's financial stability. 
Jokno said six of the 11 risk areas of financial stability being monitored have been classified as under control. However, servicing debts and credit-related risks are the primary concerns in the financial market today. Early into the pandemic, financial authorities intervened to ensure adequate liquidity in the financial system and backstop this with other regulatory relief measures. And Transportation Secretary Arthur Pugade said that the expanded and upgraded Calibo International Airport is seen to generate more employment and tourism opportunities as well as boost economic activities in Aklan. The transportation official said that at least 280 workers were employed during the renovation of the KIA, adding that it will further trigger more employment opportunities as the improved airport becomes operational. He added that the improved Calibo International Airport will promote tourism as it will not only serve local tourists but will also welcome international visitors. Completed on September 15, 2020, amid the raging COVID-19 pandemic, the airport expanded 2,633.40 square meter international passenger terminal building, can now accommodate 406 passengers from its previous 344 passenger volume. That wraps up the stories tonight. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition and Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. The Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viber Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsi to emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just visit the sticker store and search for Katribu. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store and the Araneta City for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night and God bless us all. Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Beanie Beanie pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch, your first home, your first big break, your first date, and even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts.